Thank you, sir. Monique Chauvin runs this flower shop. It's been ten and a half years now, so I must be doing something right. Well, the thing is... But neither Monique nor her employee, Leslie Massoni, have a Louisiana florist license. And they are in stock. They've managed to stay in business by hiring someone who has a license, but he's no longer here. Well, he passed away, so I don't have his license anymore. So to stay in business, they must pay to take a florist's exam. It was horrible. Horrible. They've already flunked it once. They say the test demands you know things that customers never ask for. When was the last time you made a double corsage? Just getting to the test is tough. You have to drive right. wherever it's given and take it At there. Expense. And the questions they say are pointless. Who is the commissioner of agriculture? And the flower questions are bizarre. Is it an asymmetrical arrangement, or is it a um, line arrangement, is it, yeah, or exactly. is it what are a your line flowers? What do you, do you like? Know what the, line flower is? No idea. Exactly. Well, why would you care? You know, and so, so if you see it, and you think it looks good, you buy it. And basically, I want something very. And that's how they've stayed in business for years. They do what their customers like. And you can see how. But the uh, test requires knowledge of bizarre contraptions like this cramping machine. Like we don't ever use it. You never ever. Well, I'll never use that again as long as I live. Ain't it's dangerous? Get it in there. You know, I've had it for ten and a half years. And cramp it. Down. You know, it makes a big difference. It's a weapon now. Look, right, right, but I don't even have do that. that. Also, the test requires them to make a bridal bouquet by cutting off the stems and replacing them with a the wire. Something florists rarely do anymore. If you had to wire every piece, it's not in water, so it's going to die quicker too. You know, this way it stays in water, you trim the ends, you keep it in water until you're ready to bring it to the bride. How can you tell me that I'm not doing something right? You know, it's art. Because that's the law. If they don't get a license... They can close me down. We're joined now by Monique and Leslie, as well as Mike Rome. He's on the board of the Louisiana State Florist Association. So, who are you to tell them they need a license? So you'll shut them down. Well, basically, the license came from a law that was passed in 1939. And the idea was to protect the basic knowledge and the, best, the basic uh, chain of life of flowers from the grower to the consumer to improve the quality of, or, and maintain the quality of the, of the product that the, that the consumer buys. Because many of these products are not done uh, by visual look. A lot of times it's, you're, you phone them in or they're done over the nowadays the Internet and so forth. So we would like to see... Uh, or the, what the purpose of the law is, is to maintain that the, that the temperature of the coolers is correct, that the... Uh, but so well, what if it isn't? Well, the, the, you as a consumer are going to get a lower quality of, of the, the product. Then I won't get. patronize their business. That's correct. But there's other reasons why you may or may not patronize them also. You know, this is to, you know, if you're going to hire a plumber to do a plumber's job, you want to make sure that the type of... the what you get is the best possible job you could get. You bet, but why would a state licensing test determine that better than the constant trial and error of people going to this florist or not going? Well, it's a basic knowledge test. It, get, it assures that someone in that shop has the understanding of the, the, the principles and practices of floral arranging and, and, and the mechanics that are involved to give the best product that, that is available. And how come no other state feels the need to do this? Well, many other states are, in, are in looking at this. In fact, there's a, na a national program going on called the Certified Floors Program so that they can have some kind of assurance when they call another shop. If there's a certified florist there, then they can get the quality and, that they expect. Why does it assure me as a customer if they know who the state agriculture director is? Well, that's just one of the questions on the test. I mean, it's... You know, it's kind of important to know who the, who is the governor or the the governing body of it. But I mean, it's only one of about a hundred questions that are on the test. Isn't this just a way for you, established florists, to keep competition 